Oi. A soft robot can presses buttons, which allows it to move in a Super Mario game and beat it. It can press the game controls better than most people can. Soft robots can help people get dressed without hurting anyone, cut fruit, and do movements delicately. The robot hand uses something called fluidic circuits that tells it which button has to be pressed due to the pressure of the liquid. When Super Mario loaded up and was running, the bot could finish the first level within 90 seconds, which is pretty impressive, considering it's a robot playing it for the first time. After the robot was made, other traditional soft bots were tested by playing the piano, but Sokol, the lead scientist in making this soft robot, thought that it would be too easy. So he made the robot play a video game and beat the first level. The team wrote a program that would change the pressure of the water automatically, telling it when to press the button on the Nintendo controller and which button to press. Low pressure makes the finger press the button that would make Mario go forward, medium pressure would make Mario run, and high pressure would push all three fingers down onto the controller, making Mario jump. This program would create a pattern, and that pattern would win the first Super Mario level. The tricky part would be to get the robot to press the button, stop pressing it, and then press it again. This robot is part of a new field in technology, concentrating on emulating interactions with others, pets, and mobile objects as humans would. This is different from the traditional metal machine, which would not be able to perform delicate tasks, probably not win a video game, and not be able to pet animals. In the future, this soft robot can be used in prosthetics, health treatments, and therapies. A lot of good things can come from this robot. You'll be able to cut fruit, play video games, pet your dog or cat, even without your real hand.